And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to have a look at how we can turn our amazing VR flights into YouTube videos and do it pretty simply. So as always, please subscribe, like and come to letsflyvfr.com if you need any help. You will find uh, how to do this there as well. So the first thing we want to do is have a look at our display settings. So what we're going to do here is you really want as high a setting as you can. Um, I'm using the DSR 4K, which uh, is why that is there, even though it's a 1080p monitor, as you can see, by the recommended. Now, the trick here is we're going to turn this to portrait. And uh, what this does is just makes the overall display. Now, it's, everything goes funny when you do this. You have to go up is sideways and down is the other way and all sorts. So um, once you've got this selected, don't panic. Uh, go ahead and uh, I know it'll be frustrating, but uh, get up there to that X and, and lock it out. Now, this is what you see in the headset. You see this narrow view of your, um, uh, of your desktop. Uh, certainly with the oculus desktop anyway so now we're going to start up uh, dcs world now don't worry this is what you'll see although if you take your headset off and look at your display this will be rolled on its side at 90 degrees but that doesn't matter that's not what we need we need it this way so i've rolled it around as we would see it inside your uh, vr headset so we're starting up dcs world and we'll get it in there and we'll quickly have a, a look at that and get it set up. Now, I'm going to use Shadow Play, NVIDIA Shadow Play to record. And uh, it's very, very simple. It's Control F9 if you're running on an NVIDIA uh, card. And uh, it will already be installed. So it'll record for you. And we're going to be recording the desktop. So if you look in your video area, you'll find the recording you make hiding in there waiting for you. So control F9 to start and when you finish control F9 to stop. So here we are now I've I've stretched this out because this is what most people would expect to see this big wide stretched view and that's not really what we want but you can see my dis my settings here. Now I turned that down because there was apparently some issues with the latest uh, release of 2.7 in the open beta but you can do this in, in, on anything. Um, I think I'll put that back at 16. Now we want to check here, you'll note there's a left, a right and a both. You can use either left or right eye view because you'll have one view on the screen. That's what we want. We don't want both because it, it defeats the purpose. So one of those, whichever one you like. And uh, and there's just some more sending there. I'm going to play with it a little bit more later for myself. But So we're going to go into an instant action mission, going to grab the, um, oh, we'll do the F-18 because we've been playing with the F-18 recently. And uh, I'll show you how poorly I land again. Now, on the display, on your, you will see this. Okay, if you, again, if you pop your HMD off, you head and, you, and you'll see this. Now, I want you to get yourself as far back as you possibly can in your view. So if you're looking down, you're looking at your chest here with the, the model in place okay and then you're going to end up with as wide a view as you possibly can now i still think maybe in my mucking around um, i'm still not as far back as i would like to be but you'll see the result of this as we just fly around so this is what you would see in one eye um, and you can see that with this one i'm a little bit just off center and unfortunately that's about the only negative thing of this uh, but not that many people are going to be looking closely at your um, display and your head up so now we've recorded that little bit we're going to go to DaVinci Resolve 17 which is a free program there'll be a link for it down there let's open up a new project now there's a whole lot of uh, menus but we're just going to click this bottom one that I'm circling click that and hopefully that will bring you to this point, which is the editing screen. Now we're going to go into import media. So you just right click on your mouse to bring that up. We're going to grab that bit of video and the, one, the other one you can see there is one I'm recording while we're doing this. So don't change the, the settings in it at all. And there it is. Now we want to move this down into the time, into the time into our editing area so you just grab it with your mouse left mouse hold it drag it down and bring it down and as you can see that's what we started out with and then the display was rolled over so 
Now we need to edit it, and this is where the magic happens, and it all happens at this panel that you can see on the top right there. Now we have a zoom, a position, so what we're going to do first is just use the rotate, and we're going to add minus 90 degrees. I'm a little bit out there, so I just re-click on that and add the minus value to that. So we end up with minus 90, so that puts it in the right orientation. And really simply from here, we're going to play with the zooms, and uh, you're still going to end up with a really great picture for your display. So yes, we do use a, lose a little bit, but most of the videos that people record, um, generally this is about the view you get from them anyway. And if you liked what I saw, then you must be happy with it. So if you unclick between the, t the zoom selectors there, you can zoom individually, the up, down, and left, and right. And once you've got that there, you're pretty much done. So the next job you can do with this, just to make it a little nicer, is uh, now you can just see where how it looks on screen there. Just You can just play it. Now, what we're going to do next is click on the inspector, which is already up. You, really, you should have, I should have clicked on the actual clip. So we're going to do some stabilization, because sometimes your head just shakes a little bit. You don't notice it, but um, it comes out on the video a little bit. So what you do here is you actually click onto the clip and I'm going to do the whole lot. This one took actually quite a while. I didn't realize I hadn't clicked on the particular clip that I wanted. So change ratio, push that down a little bit and this in the uh, strength and smoothness, push them up to one all the way to the right and just let it do its magic from here. You don't have to do anything else. And once you finish doing this, just control S to save while you're in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, guys. And that's all you need to do. That's you having recorded, created a video clip and in, uh, in NVIDIA Shadowplay, edit it in DaVinci Resolve 17, and you'll, but you would probably be able to do exactly this in a lot of our editing programs, so that's all good. So now we're all edited, we're all stabilized. We can go ahead and close this now. Oh, we want to export it so we can watch it, don't we? So the next thing we're going to collect YouTube. We're going to give it a title. You can. The YouTube settings are already already fine, so just leave those alone, guys. I'm just going to put video editing VR movie. Hope you can't hear all the noise I can hear in the background. That's another great thing with no, no, it doesn't matter. Well, let's set this up. So we're going to set the resolution, the frames, leave everything else. Browse. Where are we going to save it? I'm going to save it on the desktop, so it's quick to find. So you click on desktop. The name remains there. You save. So that's done. Now, the next thing we need to do is just come to the bottom here, click Render Clip. So that prepares it to render, and then you hit Render. And sit back and wait, in this case about five minutes or something, and it'll render to your desktop, and you'll have a video there waiting for you that you can upload to YouTube. So that's it, guys. That's what I've been doing recently. Hope that's helpful for you. And all you need to do now for your sanity is to go back to your desktop and uh, make sure it's back on landscape and away you go so i hope that was helpful subscribe like and come visit let's fly vfr and i'll catch you back here again at let's fly vfr.com real soon bye bye